This is Bill. Welcome to Episode 7 of the Ron and Bill Show. And don't forget, the free podcast course is up. So go to podcastershome.com and sign up. And I'm finally testing and showing folks how to use the ATR 2100 and we, on a MacBook Pro, just like Ron is supposed to do. And Ron's been second. Welcome, Ron. Ron, you've changed. You look different. I've been uh, using the oils. <laughs> hey, folks. This is Chris Baggett. He's a good friend of mine and is really um, from Lifter LMS. And we'll talk about Lifter and you need to go listen to Timeline. There's not enough time now, but he's got a very successful online business and developer. Just a neat guy. He does a lot of the same things that I like to do. But uh, he's in for Ron today. Ron is well, but he's just too busy because rec- he's recovering. He hasn't done anything in three weeks. And the show must go on. And we have to get the show up today. It's supposed to be up yesterday. So consistency is one of the concepts behind the podcast. So episode seven and... What's wonderful is Chris has a ATR 2100, which is tuned perfectly and in with his MacBook Pro. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it does me right. So how did you end up? You sound perfect. How did you end up with the ATR 2100? Uh, when we started doing podcasting, uh, we just wanted to get it done. Like you mentioned with consistency, how important that was. We used to just do it with the iPhone earbuds that come with the iPhone with the MacBook Pro yeah. Skype e-call recorder. Uh, and then my, my partner on my podcast and I, we wanted to upgrade our sound quality. So we just got a set of, of the uh, ATR 2100s and just leveled up our game. Well, on the two-hour or four-hour podcast, teach you podcast in two hours at podcastershome.com, um, we use the iPhone, which has good sound, and we proved that. And so we're not on the iPhone today, as you can see, but this is the next step is the ATR 2100 uh, USB just plugged into your MacBook Pro. And we're, we're training now with all mac products apple products but yeah and, and when i first started out i didn't even have one of these boom arm things i just uh used the little tripod that came with it yeah what kind of boom do you have do you know it's nice and looking boom. It, it was about 17 dollars on amazon that's all i know yeah isn't it amazing and it actually my atr didn't fit in the hole so i actually take <laughs> this little thing that yeah. uh that screws on the tripod and i just jam it in here until it stays but it's actually not supposed to work that way. So I'm just making it happen. You know, another thing, you had a little bit of sound there, but another thing you don't need is you don't need that frame around it to stop the sound and motion. It's not that big a deal. So a $17 arm hooked onto your standing desk, which is, I've seen, can you show us what your standing desk looks like? Yeah, let me try to do it. I, I, uh, I've been standing for about three years and uh, basically I just have a coffee table on top of a normal desk. That's all it is. Yeah. Lesson number, in this lesson, you're learning a couple key points is you're really supposed to be standing when you do a podcast because you can let your voice out much better. You can think better. It's healthier than sitting down. I really need to get a standing desk. But the problem is you're like, can't lower it at all. So you can't sit down. No, I, I mean, when I first started standing, uh, you can, you don't, you, it's hard to go just straight to standing, but now I just don't even enjoy sitting for working. I'm either standing, I probably stand 90% of the time, or I sit with horrible posture 10% of the time, like on the couch or whatever. You gotta get back. So, um, quick question on the standing and all that. Now, you're just using your MacBook Pro's camera right now, right? That's correct. And then for lighting, I'm actually using um, one of those like seasonal affective disorder like lights. <laughs> uh, Let's see. I can so, this, it up. so this is this is my uh, you wow. know uh, this is my thirty dollar light box. Wow. And then I have a you know a regular lamp uh, you know just a nice lamp over here. Basically, the more the merrier. I've got a window here, and uh, that you know that's my low key lighting setup. Now you have a pretty well-established company as far as I can see. I know you've got the key people, developers, a lot of moving parts. You could afford to have a lot more. I could, but uh, I've also have a problem with um, traveling a lot. So for the past year, I was actually living in that RV you see parked outside in the driveway. Mm -hmm. And I think the last time you interviewed me, I was actually in that RV. So I don't, it's always been really important to me from a philosophical perspective to be mobile and to have most of the infrastructure be portable so like when i travel and i go to a conference i take this mic and the little tri- the little tripod mm-hmm. in case in case a podcasting opportunity arises so i like to keep it low tech I- i'd love to get a green screen and and get do it up a little bit more but um just right now i'm too mobile well you know what 
that's a minimalist is the way to go. Um, often we go too far and too much junk and we don't focus at just getting it out. And that's the next step. What you're doing is you really need to stay where you are for a while and there's no reason to do anything else. I mean, a, gr a little studio would be really nice and there's some really expensive, inexpensive green screen pull downs with color paper that I recommend, but that's the next step. So we're going to go through steps. You're really at step two, what I call the podcast. It's really developing your voice, even though you've been podcasting for how long now? Uh, about two years. And you started out with just the, this, you, the iPad, the pod. Yeah, just, pods. just the earbuds. The earbuds yeah, right. the, that, that was it. And, and before that, you know, when I first started like making YouTube videos or whatever, I was just speaking to the computer. That's it with right. nothing. With <laughs> That's how it started. But your sound is very rich now. So you're at that level. So you really are ready to start moving towards the next level, figuring out it could be a much a green screen can be really simple, by the way. This is just a piece of linen on the wall behind me, but there's a pull down one that I really recommend, but you have to have room for a studio and you have to have the mobile uh, capabilities, but uh, it's working. So what do you like best about your podcast? It's lifter LMS. Our podcast is actually called no, LMS L cast. I meant to say LMS uh, cast, but we do it as part of lifter LMS. It's just our way of engaging with our community, not just about our software, but all the issues faced by online course creators. Uh, but what I love most about it is, uh, the opportunity to connect with other people. Mm -hmm. I get to learn. I also get to, um, you know, because I own a company and I'm, he I'm hearing from customers, prospective customers all the time. And, and people do a lot of research before they get into LMS software or membership sites. They have a lot of questions. So when I get smart people like yourself, you were on my podcast earlier today, I can, I'm asking you questions for my own self-interest, but I'm also representing the collective uh, questions that I get from our community. So I, I, I just really enjoy that because building a bridge for people between, um, you know, like where they're struggling or where they're stuck to finding solutions. I just get a lot of joy out of that. And it also helps our company grow. Yep. You know, I just did a double check on my mic. You see that? That was one of the early yeah. lessons I told you about scratching your mic to make sure, because you might have several mics. You have this, this mic here, you have a mic on the computer and you have your uh, USB mic. And that's one way. Yeah, and actually, it. when we first connected on this call, I had actually unplugged my my fancy microphone, and you could tell right away, like, oh, wait a second, what's up with your sound? But now, remember, when you're interviewing somebody who's new and doesn't, maybe he's never podcast or they're using a headset or something, they might just be on their other mic, and you may be wrong, and they they they, they don't, you could be screwed up, and they won't tell you, yeah. but we'll tell each right. other because we know. Hey, a couple of things, right. a couple of little learning points where you can go now right away. We talked about it on in our pre-discussion. Is this flag right here? This is a eight or nine dollar black flag, and this is just printed paper. And you can rotate the flag. I don't know if they can see it or not with a mic. And then the other thing you might consider is two other move ups: is um, a nine twenty with a little podium like this, just a nine twenty. You plug into your MacBook Pro, and then you could raise okay. it like this on your desk and get eye level, and you'll get a little bit. You'll get a, a good picture. It should be equal in quality of what you have now but you can move it around a little bit, the camera. And then, um, oh, the ball. Uh, for three bucks, you can buy a foam ball for that. Your sound is excellent now. Not all people have that good sound. They have plosives. It means the sound comes out. But I still recommend that you buy the little foam ball for three bucks. To go on the, yeah. yeah it's yeah, only absolutely. three bucks. Um, I, I just send you one. I got extra ones, but I, you can go on uh, Amazon. I'll send you those links when we're done. So the, the flag mic here and the little ball. Problem is that ball is called an add-on order. They send it when you order other stuff on Amazon. Oh, okay. But you sound great. You sound good. So that's fun, Chris. We'll have you you back. And th this is a training show for the Ron and Bill show. And you're so much more. I mean, we could talk forever. We just did a, another, we've done several podcasts together. And it's good. Hey, well, in closing, I know you're going to put together another podcast. And uh, give us some websites where people can contact you. And what's going to be your next podcast? Uh, the best place to get a hold of me is at lifterlms.com. If you scroll down to the bottom, there's a contact link. And uh, I'm at lifterlms on Twitter. So I'm really into online education. My next podcast is just going to be about some of my – it would be like a personal brand podcast. So it'll not just for building the brand, but just for me to be able to reach out and connect with people in all the areas I'm interested in, not just online education, but other areas like uh, you know bigger business issues, I believe in strong family. I love the outdoors. I love traveling. So there's this certain type of uh, people that I love connecting with, and I just want to get 
do that and get some of the same benefits that I've gotten in the online education and membership site communities, but in a more holistic yeah. view about all the areas I'm into in life. So less about the school, just about broad topics, and which is neat because you do a lot of things like I do. You're, I, I consider a sort of jack of all trades. We like to do different things, whether it's mountain climbing or growing food, whatever yeah. it might be, or health, diet, lifestyle. All that stuff, yeah. yeah. Warning, though, warning. That's the fun of why I podcast because of that reason. But that won't necessarily grow an audience because you're so eclectic, but it's, it's so fun to yeah. do. So it's good. Absolutely. Well, Chris, don't go away, but I'm going to say goodbye. We probably went over 11 minutes is our rule. All right. Well, thanks for having me. I really want to thank Chris for coming on the show today. He and I have been on many podcasts back and forth, and I truly enjoy him. He's always a lot of fun. Super interesting guy, and Lifter LMS is a great product. Uh, so as we finish up a little, little play, a little bit of, uh, after the show, a little dialogue and, uh, some really good learning points here. So take care and, uh, see you next time on I'm episode gonna, eight. I think that's another thing Thanks. you and I have in common is consistency. Like I just keep showing up. I keep doing it. I keep doing it. And, uh, I'm all, I'm way more about habits than like, you know, some kind of trick or ta- you, tactic. You know, they've had, had some podcasts have just exploded at people hung with their, them. Jonathan is yeah. built. Jonathan is very consistent. He's done really well. I'm really impressed. Yeah, he's put talented yeah. people around him. Yeah, so that's kind of cool, and it's helping. His, it's helping him everywhere. His business, everything. He's getting some good residuals off of it. And he he contracts out the um the pat for eight or ten bucks the whole workflow afterward. So that's yeah, kind of neat. Great. Well, thanks, Chris. It was a good talking to you today. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to. Subscribe right here and go over here to the link for the free podcast course.